Okay, here we are. We have Sony Church in the building. Karibu sana. Asante sana for having me back. You always here educating us and letting us know. And today we're sort of like going back to the basics. You know, okay. even as we talk about everything else, yes. we need to know mm -hmm. um, what our skin type is and how to take care of it as basic as possible. All right. So kabla ya tuwanza, Sony, for the, for the people who are singing, seeing you for the very first time mm -hmm. on this show, um, how can uh, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Sony Kamau. I'm known as Sony Touch. I'm a certified skincare specialist. I treat hyperpigmentation, acne. Yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, great. I've thrown it out to the audience to uh -huh. just figure out if they know what their skin type is. Do you think it's something that we know? Most people, to Najuangama, to Naishingi, too, we just are our way to the world. Well, um, I would say like most people nowadays, they know. Oh, nowadays. Nowadays, okay. they know, yeah. Okay. I remember some time, I think it was last year, I sat here and uh, we talked about this. So we talked about skin types and skin conditions, yes. right? So there are different types of uh, skin types. Mm -hmm. There's oily skin. Mm -hmm. Oily skin people don't struggle to know their skin type okay. because it's always oily. <laughs> you get out of the shower, uh, the next few minutes, you just want to blot off the excess oil, right? Uh, dry skin people, uh, they don't struggle as well because their skin tends to be very tight mm -hmm. and uh, ashy, mm -hmm. you know, dry. Uh, normal and this skin is a type. constant. Um, <coughs> is it different when you try, when you use different kinds of water? Because even mm -hmm. if you're oily, how, uh, um, it, it, it's sort of like, if, if it's maybe salty, Yes, now, now okay. that's that's different now ah, okay. because the the skin type and now skin conditions. Ah. Yes, so for skin types, it's a skin type is what you're born with. Okay, it's genetic. Okay, this is what you're born with, right? right. So there's oily skin, uh, dry, there's dry. Mm -hmm. there's normal, normal mm -hmm. skin type. Uh, it's flawless, no blem blemishes. It's it's just flawless not overly oily not overly yes, dry yes, just there yes mm -hmm. and there's a sensitive skin type sensitive um they get to react pretty fast when they apply products okay. and then there's combination combination skin type it's around the t-zone it's mm -hmm. uh oily and the rest of these parts uh, can be dry or normal or yes oil a little bit that is combination yes me mini team combination <laughs> <laughs> Because when you kept saying oily, and I was like, ah, I'm not so sure if it's oily. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm not oily everywhere. Then I'm not dry everywhere. Yeah. Then now I understand because it gets overly oily. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. But this part, you are just fine, right? Yes. All right. Now that is skin type. Uh -huh. Now let's cross over to skin conditions. All right. Now what causes skin conditions? Uh, it happens, uh, let's say, by climate change. Mm-hmm. Uh, salty water, mm -hmm. the way you're saying, mm -hmm. uh, could be medication, you mm -hmm. know, um, women be contraceptives and stuff, or whatever meds that you're taking can still affect your uh, your skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes skincare products, ah. use of wrong skincare products. Okay. Yeah, and this happens when people keep recom keep self-recommending products yeah. to themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. without... I mean, it's by working ignoring on Sony's skin. Yeah. Peter, <laughs> work on me. And this is what I always insist. Do not ignore that uh, consultation desk. Yes. Because that's the genesis of your healing skin. Mm. But the moment you cross over, because mm -hmm. you've assumed, you've ignored. Oh, there's hype around it. There's hype around it. Mm. And, and you know what's crazy? Yes. Like, <laughs> online, you know this is Kenya. And <laughs> <laughs> Kenya <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> you will find someone has typed a whole thing about a certain product, right? Yes. So what happens is they will copy paste it. So you, you're online, you're reading, maybe you're researching about a product and something, you're just reading and you're like, oh my God, so this can work for me. Mm -hmm. You look at yourself, oh, I have pimples, I have nini nini. And then you think you have an oily skin. What people don't know, regardless of your skin type, mm -hmm. you can still get acne. Okay, okay. And now that is a skin condition. It does not mean that you have an oily skin. Mm. And so you will end up rushing to the store, or maybe because you've seen someone has recommended this product, 
you rush to pick the product. Those ingredients, they are not meant for your skin type. Okay. Probably it's just medication that reacted on you. Mm -hmm. Could be diet, because mm -hmm. that causes skin condition as well. Mm -hmm. There are people who eat meat, uh, eggs, milk, and they start getting the reaction. Yes. Yeah, the skin is breaking out, you've had nuts, your skin is breaking out, yeah. you've had chocolates, yeah. your skin is breaking out. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of it, you think that mm, maybe I have an oily skin. But you don't. Because it's written, people who break out, they have oily skin. But that's not necessarily but true. But that's not the case. Okay. So you end up damaging your skin uh, the more. Over and above that, um, the fact that now you have you've ignored like you have this skin type, your original skin type, yes. and now there's a skin condition, and now you have these products that you're trying to use, they're not working, you leave those products, and then you go over to another product, you leave that other product, at the end of the day, you will end up with a sensitized skin. And by this means, mm -hmm. your acid mantle is already broken. Acid mantle, uh, Your skin barrier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Your it's skin okay. barrier okay. is already broken. And this is something that you've done to yourself? This is something that you've done to yourself. Okay. Yet, you knew, Lem I'm supposed to do consultation, but just because you saw it, you know, ignorance is not good. Mm. Yeah, mm. just because you, you, you saw something somewhere, someone has said this, yeah. or even someone who is selling product. Yeah. I tell people, hakuna mtu kwa duka yake, atasimama aseme hakuna. Mm -mm. They will convince you. That and kama ile unataka hakuna, yeah. nikona hii ingine, yenye inafanya, inafanya, inafanya. And here's, it, 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 there's a skincare wave. Okay. And I would tell someone, aki kama, you don't want to, to pay for consultation. Allow me to say this live on air because it really hurts me. Yeah. Because kinky products are they're not two shillings. Mm -mm. You've worked hard, you've saved that kidogo money to get these products, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now here you are, you you're jumping from product after product after product. Mm -hmm. And then when everything has gone south. Sony Sasa. Exactly. <laughs> so you come to me yeah. and I look at your skin. By the look of your skin, I'm able to tell like mm. whether your acid mantle is broken or, or not. not. And this means we have to repair it first before we get to the actual treatment Which that will bring your skin back to normal. So it's quite like a process. Then it becomes more expensive than consulting in the first place. Skin Ninge repair is, is expensive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, and even the damage that you've done on your skin is now worse. But um, how then do I take care of my skin from these different types of skin that you've shared with us today, from the oily, dry combination and sensitive? Is there a particular way that every different skin needs to be taken care of? Yes, because uh, each skin type has different products, right? Yes. So as an individual, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard you know, not everyone will be so keen to know their skin type, yes. right? So there's no shortcut. No shortcut. I tell people, in skincare, there is no shortcut. Mm -hmm. And the people who live and try to get you fast mm -hmm. are people who are selling products. Yeah. Because remember, uh, it's still business, and you never know, there are people who are just there for making a sale. Mm -hmm. And then there's someone who is there because it's their passion. Mm. So it's up to you as an individual. Mm -hmm. You call, uh, you sit down and have a meeting with yourself and just have it in your mind. Like, let me start my skincare journey. Mm -hmm. I want to start my skincare journey. Mm -hmm. Look for a certified skincare specialist, someone that you can be able to see before and after photos. Mm. That should be able to guide you, you see. Um, or maybe someone, um, a referral, mm -hmm. you see, you can work with that, but there are no shortcuts in skincare. Okay, yeah. so when it comes to taking care of my oily skin, mm -hmm. it will definitely be different from taking care of a dry skin. Yes. What are some of the no no's when it comes to the different types of skin that we have? Like, e kamoko oily, please, just there's this thing that people are doing, just don't do it. Yeah, uh, let's start by um, scrubbing. Okay. 
and if you have an oily skin and you have pimples th th they tend to pick those pimples very fast mm, mm. so once you pick those pimples you're transferring that bacteria to the other part mm. so which leads to more pimples yeah. so <coughs> by this you need to look for products let's say for ingredients mm -hmm. Now, I won't mention the product, but now but the ingredients, yeah. if you have an oily skin type, you're mm -hmm. supposed to go with the ingredients like salicylic acid, uh, benzoyl peroxide. You know, if you have dry skin, look for something that will help look in moisture, mm -hmm. say like so of um, cocoa butter, shea butter, ah. something that will soothe the skin, okay, uh, okay. hyaluronic acid. Atiha? Hyaluronic acid. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Hyaluronic acid is as a substance that is produced by our body. Okay. Yeah. So as as we age and depending with the skin type, you'll find that is it's it's not producing enough. So mm -hmm. you need kind of to like boost it. Uh, okay. So by so you, you adding that into the into the body. Yeah. Onto your skin, yeah. then you're helping whatever is already inside your body. Exactly. Okay. Uh, but now some of these ingredients you might find them with different names out there. Okay. Like sodium. Um, hyaluronic mm -hmm. so you'll find this is what you need but you as a consumer you don't know no I can't so you will just go looking <laughs> so i can't remember half the things conic you've said i know no, acid it's no, just acid <laughs> exactly <laughs> and that's why i'm telling Mikali, there is no shortcut yeah and because for me i'm all around everything skincare mm -hmm. let me handle this for you yeah that is why i'm here you come to work uh Come on set, do your thing. Uh -huh. Let's only handle your skin. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm going through this. Let me handle your skin. Because even though I'll tell you about all these ingredients, you'll go out there and then you start getting confused. Mm. Because That's as true. I've said, you'll find um, just this one ingredient, acid. but it has like five different names. Yeah. And you will miss it. Okay. Yeah. You will miss that product. Uh -huh. So just the, the general... The general um, ingredients, as we had, we were saying, yeah. Um, if you have oily skin type, look for oil-free moisturizers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have acne, look for salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide. Now, allow me to mention this, Mikali, that if you have acne, start with the most, the least percentage. Okay. Because you might find now this is the best ingredient. Mm -hmm. But because you're using the higher percentage, it will end up reacting on you. Okay. okay. Your skin may even swell, you end up in the hospital. Mm. You get. Yeah. Like, there's no shortcut at all. D so can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. um, do skin types change over time? You say that this is what we are born with. Yes. But can it change over time or is it because of the things that probably have put it through? It does change over time, okay, and great. this is what I was saying. It it gets affected by different things. Ah, uh, okay. So, but say for example, it started off as a dry skin. Yeah. As a teenager, evo kabla ni juwe iso acids. Wewe well, kama ulizaliwa na dry skin, <laughs> eh. that is what is yours. Okay. Yes. But kama ulizaliwa na normal skin type, um, mm -hmm. As of course, as we age, and mm -hmm. as I, I said before, it gets affected by different um, things. Okay. You'll find maybe, for instance, you have a normal skin type, but you're not drinking water. Okay. So you will end up dehydrated. Yeah. You have a normal skin type, remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because you don't know, and you don't know your issue is just one. Yes. You don't take enough water. So you end up with a dehydrated skin. The next thing, you will run out there looking for <laughs> dry skin products. Yeah, but that's not what I need. I just need to drink water. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying, like, there's so many different things that can go wrong in just one thing only. Okay. Lack of going through the consultation desk. Great. And I am happy we're having this conversation because I think we, we leave... Um, like well, like you said, tunenda tunaskiza kilauto ingi na sema. What is in the hype now? We are packing avocado on our face. Yeah. Only my eye next time. But then you don't know what effect that has on your skin if you do not understand what skin type that you have. So you add on conditions on your skin and then you treat those conditions and then you end up breaking the wall. Exactly. Okay. And once it's done, now your skin is sensitized. 
You know, I, I, was, I was looking at another video, someone saying, uh, showcasing, they're using vitamin E, it's pure vitamin E, it's organic, it does not affect you, <laughs> you can't break out. Why am I seeing attitude in your voice? I'm seeing it, it's loud. Yeah, like, <laughs> it gets to a point, I'm like, oh my God, just stop, stop. Yeah, but are you able because to notice when it when it's changing from one skin type to another? Say, for example, like you you shared this, the one for normal skin, but now I'm not drinking water. I'm able to recognize that something is changing in my skin. That's why I go out to get help. Yes, and now once you notice it has started changing, the next thing you'll panic. Mm. Okay. You're stressed out. Uh, you you uh, you have a date. Uh, you have a wedding, you have an event. Yes. You can't wait. So you you'll jump quick, over. Like you fix. want an ASAP solution. Yes. yes. But skin doesn't happen overnight. Mm, okay. So okay. you'll need patience. Something else, or, um, with all these skin types and skin conditions, now here you are, you've come, you've seen, let's even assume you've come and, and seen a skincare specialist. You've been told these are the products that you're supposed to use. And then you take them through all that. There's something called skin patch or acne patch. So now this is where you've started introducing these new ingredients into your skin. So remember, there are other ingredients that you've been using before. Mm. So they are still in your system. Okay. So chances are, because we all react differently, you might, you might not experience the skin patch. Okay. And by this, you might get rashes, so many of them, or maybe even acne. And then you panic and drop the products. But then all I needed to do was just see it through for just a bit longer. Yes. Okay. But then you see, we don't know these things. That's why people there are need those to... those who know, but they don't have the patience. Ah, ah, tukupate wapisoni. Where do we get you? <laughs> Where do we get you? We need, we need this consultation before we mess up our skin. <laughs> we are located along Mombasa Road. Uh, here is our contact, 0793-649-716. You can find us on uh, Instagram, sony underscore touch ke on YouTube, by the way, we have all these videos. Run there and check out all these uh, skin type and skin uh, conditions videos on Sony Touch TV and on Facebook is Sony Touch. Thank you so much, Sony. Always You're lovely having you on the show. Thank you for having me. We're going to take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikani.